Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna show you the top five handheld scan tools for smart vehicles in 2024 and 2025. We'll show you the cheapest through to the most expensive and explain what kind of features and functions each of these tools has. We put links to all of these kits in the description and in the pinned comment, just so it makes it a little bit easier for you to find them. But you do need to be aware though, there are fakes, there are clones on the market. So by using the links below, it will take you to the genuine and official products. And at the end of the video, I'll show you which of these tools I would personally buy with my personal money on my personal smart car, okay? Um, and if by the end of the video, you're still unsure about which of these tools to go for, then by all means, I'll put the email address in the description below. Send us an email with your vehicle information and we can certainly check to see which tool would be best for your needs. I'll also show you a bonus tool at the end of the, at the, end of the video, which is kind of like a high-end, uh, ultra top, top tool. So we'll, we'll deal with that when we come to it, okay? But first of all, we're gonna look at the cheapest tool on the table here. This is the iCarSoft MB version 1.0 tool, okay? Uh, this tool will allow you to diagnose all of the main systems in the vehicle like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, and other vehicle, other systems within your vehicle depending on what is installed. Generally things like power steering, central locking, HVAC systems, okay? Uh, so this is the most basic tool, it's a good tool. Uh, but it only comes with one service function. Now, throughout this video, you'll hear me talking about service functions. Service functions go over and above the general diagnosing. So you have parts of the tool that can diagnose the main systems. Then you have parts of the tool which will access the service functions and do the reset uh, functions, okay? So this one has one reset function and it is the oil service reset function, okay? So that's the MB version 1.0 tool. It also works on Mercedes and Sprinter vehicles, okay? So that's, th then we move on to the MB version 2.0 tool. This tool can do everything that this tool can do, but it has more service functions. So yes, it's gonna do all of your main systems like the engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, etc. But when it comes to service functions, it'll also do the oil service reset, just like this will. But this tool will also do DPF regeneration, electronic park and brake, throttle calibration, steering angle sensor calibration, injector coating and brake bleeding. Having said that, it really does depend on your specific vehicle. These functions do not apply to all vehicles, so it's best to send us your VIN number. I'll pop the email address in the description. Send us your VIN number and we can check to see if any of those functions are gonna be suitable for your particular smart car, okay? Um, the chances are some will, some won't. It all really depends on the vehicle and we don't know that until we get the VIN number of the vehicle, okay? So that's the MB version 2.0 tool. We then move on to the MB version 3.0 tool. This tool does a lot more in terms of vehicle coverage and service functionality. So you pay a little bit more for this tool than you will for this tool, but the level of diagnostics improves greatly with the MB version 3.0 tool, okay? So um, this tool will go over and above everything these tools will do, so it'll do all of the functions and diagnostics that these tools will do, but this tool is a bi-directional scan tool. It does actuation tests, it does component testing, other calibrations like suspension calibration, transmission, air conditioning, engine adaptions, some other adaptions like head, head, uh, headlight resets, uh, adaptions, and a lot of other adaptions within the vehicle, okay? So that one is uh, probably the best one so far. You pay a little bit more over these tools, but you get a lot in terms of functionality, okay? We then move on to the iCarSoft CR Pro Kit. The CR Pro Kit is has been a good seller now for a good number of years simply because of the level of diagnostics, the level of vehicle coverage that it offers. So this, let's say you've got a smart car, but you've also got an Audi or a BMW uh, or an, um, a, a Ford or a Porsche or a Toyota, something like that. This tool caters for a lot of manufacturers, okay? It matches the service functionality of the version 2.0 tool. So it's not as good as the version 3.0 tool for service functions, but when it comes to diagnosing all the systems and things like that, uh, it really is a good package and it, it's, it's quite obvious why it's been a good seller for a number of years because it just covers a lot of manufacturers uh, and you know guys who are like enthusiasts or they want to cover all the cars in their family uh, this has been really appealing for them okay so that's the CR Pro kit we then move on to the best tool on the table this is the iCarSoft CR Max not entirely sure 
I mean, it's, I probably should have charged the battery on this. It's a tablet-based kit, as you can see. It's the best tool on the table. This tool will do everything that all of these tools will do combined. Yes, it is the most expensive, but you do get the service functionality of the version 3.0 tool and the diagnostic coverage of the version 3.0 tool. So what we have here is a tool that covers the absolute most manufacturers. It covers all manufacturers. Um, so it covers the most manufacturers, all of the systems, as many functions as possible within those vehicles. So that's why this is the best tool on the table, I would honestly say. Um, such a good value for money tool. It, with all of these tools, you will get free lifetime updates. Some of the other tool manufacturers like Autel and Xtool, they do have um, a policy whereby they'll give you the first year's update for free, but after that, they charge you sometimes 100, 150 pounds per year just for the updates. Well, with these tools, you get free updates for life, okay? Um, so based on what I know about these tools, which of these tools would I buy for my personal smart car and my personal money? Which tool would I buy? Um, the answer is pretty easy to me, as I say, based on what I know about these tools. So um, the first tool I would buy, if I was just focusing on my smart car and I wasn't really interested in other makes or models, it would definitely be the version 3.0 tool, okay? It just packs in a huge amount of diagnostics, a huge amount of coverage, huge amount of service functionality for the single tool that it is, okay? So if it was just the smart car, then I'd just be looking at the version 3.0 tool. If I had more than a smart car, let's say a, a Porsche, an Audi, a BMW, a Toyota, Renault, whatever it may be, then I would definitely be looking at the CR Max kit. The CR Max kit, I probably can't stress enough how much value for money this tool is, how good it is, uh, how, how much of a bang for buck tool is. It's good at calibrations, adaptions, service reset, and it covers just pretty much every vehicle out there. I think probably the only vehicles that it doesn't cover out there are like um, Aston Martins and McLarens. It, it even, this even does Lamborghinis, it does Ferraris, Maseratis, Bentleys, Bugatti even. So this is a really, really powerful, fantastic tool. Uh, so either this one or this one, and you can take that from me because I've used these tools on many different vehicles, okay? Uh, so it's definitely worth listening to that advice. But you know, as I say, if all you need to do is knock off an airbag light and you're gonna maybe sell the vehicle, then perhaps you may not even need to look past the version 1.0 tool. It all depends on your specific uh, budget and your specific requirements out of a tool. But if you're still not sure about which of these tools to go for, then by all means, I'll pop the email address in the description. Please do send us an email and we can definitely check that for you to make and give you the best advice based on what you're looking for, okay? I said at the start of the video, I was gonna show you uh, an ultra high-end tool. This is the iCarsoft CR Ultra. This is like a bonus tool for anybody who's just interested in the absolute best tool money can buy. If budget or pricing isn't an issue, they can afford to, to spend money on the, the most expensive tool, then I'm gonna put that tool in there as a bonus tool. It'll do everything that the dealers and the service, uh, to the specialists will do on your smart car. So it's definitely worth looking into, okay? Um, but for most smart car owners and DIY enthusiasts, then I would say the tools on the table are gonna be more than sufficient for your needs, okay? I'm gonna pop links to all of these kits in the description and uh, do remember to use those links because fakes and clones do exist. They can damage your vehicle. It's just not worth going down that route, okay? Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I hope this has helped.